This is Jeff Alton, Big Game Hunter. Welcome to Job Search Radio. Are you looking for a new job or interested in leveling up? Job Search Radio is your go-to resource for insider tips on job hunting and growing your career. Here's your host, Jeff Altman. Hi, this is Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. I'm an executive job search and leadership coach and the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. And welcome to episode 232 of Job Search Radio. Now, I'm going to deal with a subject today that I know is uncomfortable for a lot of you, and that's about salary negotiation. I think this is one of those taboo subjects that people don't like to talk about because it makes them uncomfortable, at least in the U.S. Now, other cultures, hey, negotiation just wets their whistle and they dive right in. But U.S. culture, it's a lot harder. So this is a, a, a quick show that talks about you know, the, what I call the first rule of salary negotiation. I hope you find it helpful. And if you do, I hope you give the show five stars on iTunes or Stitcher. It does help other people find the show. And by the way, if you are an executive who's interested in my coaching you, I'll simply say, drop me a note. Uh, send me an email. The The information is going to be in the program notes or the show notes, I should say. Drop me a note. Let's figure out a time to speak. I'd love to help you. Now, with that, let's get going. Most people in the U.S., Westerners, not Asians, not some Europeans, not some people in the Middle East, but those who are U.S. born are so uncomfortable negotiating because it's not part of the culture. You know, and I listen to clients of mine sometimes talk about making lower offers to people of certain nationalities, knowing full well that they're going to negotiate, and then they'll get to the price that they think is actually the right one for them. That the people from those nationalities just know how to negotiate, and the firm, as a way of countering that, comes in a little low so they can negotiate up. For you who are U.S. born, who are not used to negotiating, you got to get over your apprehension to do it. You got to get over that, ooh, negotiation, ooh, I don't like doing that. Well, you know, let me give you perspective. You read all these finance books that teach you how to save money and tell you how to invest things, and then you don't negotiate on on a house purchase. I don't think so. I think you always try and negotiate on a house purchase. Why not negotiate on your salary, too? After all, if you get them up 10 grand over where they initially made the offer in five years' time, assuming a modest increase, you're more than $50,000 ahead in gross pay. If you actually change jobs in three years, it's $75,000 more. If all you did was get that $10,000 more once and then change jobs for $10,000 more after three years, you're going to forget about $70,000? Really? So you know, here's a simple way to negotiate. The deck, the deck is stacked against you when you interview. If, For many of you, if you interview and you say, and they ask you about salary, and you say, I don't want to tell you, or words that they can interpret that way, um, you know, things like, I think it's a little too early in the process to interview, uh, to uh, discuss sal- what I'm making now, but I'm looking for such and such. Well, firms are going to be like Barracuda, you know, just chopping at you. Uh, and the long and the short of it is, for most of you, and I'm not talking about senior people, um, but for most you know, staff-level individuals, even for many people at a manager level, uh, you know, you just shot yourself in the foot in their mind. So recognize that the deck is stacked against you. So number one is, You'll have to answer the question. So in answering, you say, I'm currently earning such and such, but I want to be absolutely clear. And that's not a salary that I think is particularly relevant here. You know, I'm starting to assess my value in the market, and firms are telling me that I should be earning about such and such. So that's more in line with what I'm looking for. Um, so I would just simply say that if this is the right opportunity for 
for me. And, you know, it certainly seems that way. And, you know, if I look like the right person for you, I'm just going to encourage you to make a strongest offer because people are going to be st- starting to come in fairly soon with offers on me that um, I think will be quite appealing. So, you know, do things that say something that demonstrates that the current number isn't particularly relevant, that others are assessing you to a certain level, and that's more in line with what your thoughts are, that if they are interested in you, they need to make their strongest offer because you're in a market right now where people are finding you attractive. So if they don't want to do that, That's fine because you'll have other choices. Remember, it's not about getting just one job offer. It's about getting two or three so that people are competing to get you. So when all is said and done, it starts off with understanding that you've got to negotiate. You must negotiate. You must care about yourself and your finances enough to always be negotiating and recognizing the signals that they're boxing you in and thus pushing open the sides of the box to breathe. Because if they think they got you, I can, trust me, they got you. If they're not sure, it's not that they're going to reject you if you qualify. If you're the best person, it just is making them uncomfortable that they have the right price to bring you on board. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, I want to encourage you to take me up on my free seven-day trial at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's my site with curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. And, and, I want to remind you, subscribe to Job Search Radio and iTunes or Stitcher. It helps other people discover the show. You'll get podcast delivered to you Monday through Friday, very early in the morning. They're bite-sized morsels designed to help you find work. Hope to have you back soon. Have a great day. Take care. If you would like to have Jeff give you advice about your job search, you'll love JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. This site has all of Jeff's books and guides to job hunting available free. The ability to have Jeff answer your questions, plus podcasts and videos that will help you with all the different parts of a job search, including writing a winning resume and cover letter, great answers to interview questions, how to negotiate effectively, whether you want an easy way or want to get tough, plus a community of people like you who you can get advice from. The site again is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com.